Thank you, see. <laughs> now, I've spoken to the news of the world. They are very interested in your story. <laughs> what happened? What happened was, was I met all these footballers and I got, like, two early roasted. Can I have a thousand hundred pounds now, please? <laughs> First, we need to establish this as a genuine story. Now, let's start at the beginning. We was all at this club called Chinese Whites and there were all these famous people there, like Dean Gaffney and Jodie Marsh and Fingy, you know, that Professor Stephen Hawkins. And it was amazing and I was like, well, the fittest girl there. And all the people came in from Coronation Street and they was all, like, trying to do me. Even that little one, Chesney, was trying to stick his tongue down my throat. But I'm not sad or nothing. I want to find a proper life partner because I've already had six kids by seven different blokes. <laughs> so when did you meet the footballers? I'm getting there! God, I was just about to say it if you had just waited. Then all the footballers came in, or was enough nothing from all the clubs, like Tottenham and Spurs and Chelsea Park Rangers, and they all, like, really wanted to do me, but I was wearing this really short skirt so they could all see my strawberry nevy. <laughs> happened next? Then all the footballers took me back to this really amazing expensive hotel called Travelodge and I thought it was just to talk about football but then I ended up doing sex with all of them but afterwards I felt really used because I thought they all loved me. <laughs> Have you got any photographic evidence? New but yeah but new but yeah but I actually have actually so shut up because this is an actual photo from it. There's me there actually doing it with all of them. God I feel so degraded and used and dirty and it was rubbish anyway because they all had well tiny knobs. <laughs> Vicky I'm not sure this story's gonna stick. Oh my God, I still can't believe we just said that. I'm like, we're going to be the new Abby Titchmarsh. Please, Vicky, I'm a very busy man. Come back when you've got a better story. Yes? I've done a gangbang with G4. <laughs> and I don't want you to be sad for me. I've had a wonderful life, and I love you all very, very much. Goodbye. Has he gone? Not just yet. <laughs> Lunch all right, was it? Yes. Good luck. Yes. Yeah. Oh. This is goodbye. <laughs> Any minute now. <laughs> May I say? How wonderful it is to have my family around me at the very, very end. Goodbye. I must just use a loo before I go. Just so humiliating for me. I know, darling, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Well, I suppose it was going to come out sooner or later. Look, tomorrow it'll just be old news. Let's put a statement through the press secretary saying it's, it's a private matter. Sarah, we're going to get through this together. Oh. Morning, Prime Minister. Oh, hi, Sebastian. Just a little upset here. Your car's here. I'd better dash. I'm, I'm due in court. Yes, good luck, darling. <laughs> so, uh, Sebastian, I, I suppose you've heard the news. Yeah, and I bought the book. I mean, as if you'd have an affair with the old education secretary. Look at her, she's a right dog. Sebastian. Oh, this is my favourite bit. Michael gazed at me from across the room at the party conference. Twenty minutes later, our bodies were united in passionate political union. <laughs> Lie, cow. It's true. We were both young MPs, both far away from home. Sarah and I had had our problems, and we, well, one thing led to another. What? <laughs> <laughs> it 
finished a long time ago. Sarah's known about it for years. We've accepted it and moved on. And just where do you think you're going to tell me? <laughs> Sebastian, quite honestly, it's none of your business. You're still saying that. Well, don't be silly. I can smell her. You wait till I'm gone, then you have her. You have her on this couch. Like this is it. Oh, give it to me. <laughs> hey? Or is it like this? Oh, that's deep. Do you laugh about me when you're together, do you? Ha, ha, ha! It finished 15 years ago. Prove it. Have her killed. You're the Prime Minister. One call will do it. It's the only way I know she means nothing to you. MR5, Sue speaking. I'm so sorry. I've got the wrong number. No bother. Goodbye. Come now, Sebastian. Just tell me why. What did I do wrong? What does she give you that I can't? Now look. This book's going to give me a rough ride for the next week. I need people around me who can help me through it. Now, if you can't, I'll find someone who can. OK? Yeah, fine. The German Chancellor is here. Thank you. Would you like to show him in, Sebastian? <laughs> Hi. Sluts over there. 